Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we're testing every single mask that we can get our hands on here. Very, very excited to test. I know I say that, I always say that, but today I mean it. Every other time before, probably lying. Can't tell because I can't remember, but today I'm testing the OG Pro Gear Prestige Ameritech N95. It's the duckbill style. Let's get it in the clamper and see how it does. So, oh, well, so let's do the box cam for a second so you can see this box. It's actually a really, really, really nice box. I find that a lot of the OG uh, manufacturers, no, no shade, but they just didn't have a lot of style. Make a good mask, not good style. Um, all right. Let's put this in the clip. So this is a duckbill style. I don't know if that's what you call it exactly, but that's what I'm calling it. It's my YouTube channel. Can't stop me. That's how freedom works. All right. Um, I think that's right. Okay. And let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We are doing the NIOSH style N95 test here today. We're not doing this setup exactly like NIOSH would be doing it, but we are using NACL, shooting that through the mask and seeing how much it catches on this machine. And I can already tell you that this is a really good mask. Wow. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ruin the surprise and show you, look at this. Now remember 95 and N95 needs to be 95% efficiency on this. But look at this airflow resistance under a hundred. We've seen that a few times with some other manufacturers of N95s, but that is super, super breathable material, which I love to see. That means you can wear uh, this all day long. Now, I actually love the style of this type of mask in application, but not in the way it looks. And I'll show you in just a second. But first, I want to show you this box because it's got a couple of cool features. So it's not a soft touch box, but it is like it, it does feel very professional. I wonder why. Um, <laughs> I believe, now so Prestige Ameritech is one of the oldest uh, N95 manufacturers, independent manufacturers in the United States. They're located just up the road from me in uh, uh, just outside of Dallas, Texas, about a 200,000 square foot facility there. I like the box because it's got this window here and you can see how many of these masks you have left. And then they also have this like cool little deal here, which I've never used before, so I'm probably gonna break it. This is made for hospitals. I mean, that's what th that's what these that's who these guys have been selling to for a long time, hospitals and governments. And look at this, bingo, bango. You can just take that right out, nice and you know keeps things uh, out of the way. It can sit on the shelf. I really like that. I don't know. I just the box feels is very it feels very substantial, and it should because while being one of the most breathable and one of the oldest mask manufacturers, this mask is actually one of the more expensive ones too that you could buy. And I'm putting my money where my mouth is there because we bought a ton of them and they're on our website <laughs> for you to purchase if you want to try this out as well. Um, all right, let's look at the, uh, the style of the mask real quick. So I pull it out of the box here. So it's got this uh, head strap like all N95s do. And it has um, this huge nose wire that goes all the way across that gives you a nice seal on the top. Now the way that uh, you put these on, which the first time I did this, I just, well, I look real dumb. Uh, it was very clear I had never put one on before. So you'd want to do over the, and I'm not doing much better this time. So you want to do over the back of the neck first. And then you got to find your other strap. <laughs> Look, remember, it's not the journey, it's the destination. <laughs> and we got, we got there. So you can see that this style of mask, it's got that sort of duck bill look to it, right? It doesn't look super cool. Like this is not going to be at, you know, you're not going to wear this probably on the next Met Gala. However, I found that this style, like when I'm on an airplane, this is what I'm wearing. It's super breathable. You have this entire area to breathe in. So when I was testing the fabric at hundred pascals, I was testing a small part of the fabric. This mask, you're actually getting way more fabric to breathe through. So it's even more breathable than my machine is telling you, which is crazy to think about. So I can wear this thing for a really long time and I have, and it just, it works really, really well. So I like this style. Um, again, not for um, if I'm gonna be, you know, trying to be fashionable or something. And it's obviously hard to get on and off. So if I'm gonna be in a situation where 
you know, I have to like be taking my mask on and off a bunch, like, yeah, this is not ideal. But if I'm gonna put this thing on and leave it on, like this is one of the better styles of masks that you can actually use. The thing I always say, does that matter if it doesn't protect you? Let's look at the PFE machine. This is a great score, 98.647. Not the best score that we've ever had, but that's not the point. The breathability is absolutely off the charts with this. Um, so it's a great mask, 100% made right here in America. Prestige Ameritech, they were the guys that literally invented bringing the supply chain back here to the United States for masks. They were the ones producing masks at the beginning of the pandemic with a couple other manufacturers like uh, Gearson. Um, these, were the guys, these were the only masks that we could get at the beginning of the pandemic. These were the only masks our doctors and nurses could get because 3M, they were nowhere to be found, right? So definitely respect uh, the brand, definitely respect what they've done for our country. And they've expanded operations um, since, uh, since the start of the pandemic. I think they're making, I wanna say they're making two or three million a week now, which is crazy. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and attention. And we're doing a new video, uh, a new thing. We're dropping a new video every day at 10 a.m. So I will see you at that time, and I will catch you on the next test.